A sad robot in a suit is going to work by bus and he's not the only one. Other robots use public transport too. The metalware is doing their day-to-day -day activities outdoors. One of the robots has just been hit with a car and there's not enough left of this poor thing. Our hero is getting of a bus at his stop. It seems that another robot's battery is dead. The robot is Sheldon, the interior of his dwelling is rather scanty because he doesn't need too much. The main thing is to have a place where he can charge the battery. He works in a library. One day, while waiting for the bus as usual, he saw a laughing robot girl. Francesca was driving a car and this fact made a redhead granny angry. In her opinion, none of them are allowed to drive. He sees her again the next day, Francesca drew up the bus station with several other robots in wigs and one half-nude man. They stopped nearby and after mocking Sheldon's trousers they suggested a joint ride to him. It was a jolly clatch. A man struck a match against a computer case. Francesca stopped the car and started putting up flyers with a lettering I'm here. No doubt, that Francesca is a pretty robot, but she's really awkward and fragile. Losing her balance, she fell flat on her back. Fortunately, Sheldon had an advanced repair kit and so he instantly patched her knee. Francesca suggested listening to her favorite band together, but Sheldon wasn't a quick-witted robot, so he didn't understand why it could have been entertaining. However, his routine in the library became not so boring as it used to be previously. Francesca picked up Sheldon and they went on a romantic forest walk. They had a great time together and realized their mutual affection. That night, Francesca waited her boyfriend in bed for a while and they finally made love. Sheldon worried if he was doing everything in a right way or not. Francesca was completely satisfied. She told Sheldon about the nightmare she had had, plants grabbed her and then tried to kill. The lovebirds are going to the concert, Sheldon has decided to have a mohawk today. Francesca is laughing loudly. Firstly, the robots have fun at the club but then Francesca suddenly disappears. When Sheldon finally finds her, he realizes that Francesca's arm is ripped off. Francesca feels sick. Sheldon sits her down the steps and tries to find her limb, but it has been treaded to pieces already and absolutely damaged. The guy robot will do anything to help his girlfriend, so he replaces it with his own arm, transplanting it onto Francesca's body. Now Sheldon has only one arm. The next day Francesca gives Sheldon a lift to the library. When he finally returns home, he notices a lot of rats made of papier-mâché, his girlfriend has made them to cheer him up. It's pretty late but Francesca still hasn't come back. Sheldon hears a strange noise and sees his girlfriend lying on the floor, she has lost her right leg. She has got into a pretty pickle but she swears that this has never happened before. Despite Francesca's objection, Sheldon removes his own leg to replace his girlfriend's one. He tells her that he has seen a dream where everyone wanted to give their legs to Francesca. Now Sheldon needs a crutch to move. Francesca escorts him to the library and promises to give him a lift in the evening. They throw a party at night. A lot of robots and people have gathered. A man is conjuring whereas some robots are laughing loudly at their fellow whose head looks like a conditioner. Somebody is drawing Sheldon eyebrows and beard. Everyone is having fun. Resting on his crutch again, Sheldon is waiting for Francesca to go home together. He hasn't awaited her and so goes home by bus alone. Later, he hears some terrible news and goes to the hospital immediately. Sheldon is knocked for a loop when he sees Francesca's body broken in half at chest level. He is discussing something with a doctor. Now a frustrated Sheldon is placed next to Francesca. The surgery has begun. Sparks are flying in all directions. Doctors and engineers discuss technical issues. It's time for the critical stage, the reboot of Francesca. The robot girl sees smiling Sheldon, who has saved her life, his head is the only body part he has right now. The rest of his body has been surgically transferred to her. Francesca is taken out in front of the hospital in a wheelchair, she is holding Sheldon's head in her hands. Despite the circumstances, they are still happy to be together.